This is a perfect example of what happens when feminism backfires. You have all of these women who have been pushing for all of these special rights. <laughs> it's just hilarious. It's just hilarious seeing stuff like this. Norwegian feminist facing up to three years in prison over tweets. It says Christina Ellingsen said that men cannot be lesbians, mothers, or women. Right? So if you're one of these you know, strong, independent women and you're like pushing back against the patriarchy and then now you have all these men that are transitioning into women and now of course the narrative is right the narrative is uh fears about transgender people are the distraction from the real struggles all women face and this is just basically uh a push that you know trans women are real women basically what what is what is what the gist of the article is is that all trans women are real women and so if you're just a you know if you're basically a right wing lesbian now and you believe you know you're, you're fighting against the patriarchy but you haven't quite accepted the fact that now men can turn into women well then you must be a nazi or a terrorist or some shit like that and it's just so funny seeing this because now with the push for all you know trans women are real women and if you're a lesbian and you don't want to sleep with a guy in a dress who claims to be a woman who has who still has a penis well, then you're a bigot, right? You're a transphobe. And it says, the, <laughs> this is from last year, the lesbians who feel pressured to have sex and relationships with trans women. So now if you're a lesbian, right, you're only, you're only looking to carp and munch. And then now, now society is saying, well, just because, just because they have a penis, it doesn't mean that you're not a woman because you can have a penis and be a woman. Just like you can have a vagina and you can be a man. <laughs> so now you have the LGBTQ, which is a giant clusterfuck of weak people in a weak society. And this is what you get. This is the clown world that you get where you see stuff like this. And this is all indicative of a society that is, is weak and is going to be on the way out. It won't take many generations for America not to be the most dominant country and the West not to be dominant in the world anymore. Because when you push this sort of rhetoric, when you push this sort of nonsense, it's not too long before a masculine group of men survey the scenario and say, why are we letting all these people have all this land and resources? Why are we listening to all of these weak people? You have all these mentally ill individuals that are like leading the charge against the collapse and you know the democracy is just clapping right along for them it doesn't take long before a group of strong men come along and just say fuck these people let's just take let's just push their shit in and take everything they have and there aren't many strong men there's nobody pushing back against any of this stuff you know it's not get pushed back by the right the women are getting their shit pushed in now. The lesbians are getting their shit pushed in by the trans people. And it's just hilarious watching this. And it's a giant clusterfuck. And then you have a lot of men who just don't give a fuck about society anymore. And they're like, let this bitch burn. They're just waiting for this shit to go sideways so that they can sit here and just enjoy the show and watch all these people get mowed down you know, in the long run. Because there's a lot of men that have absolutely no way shape or form that are going to defend the society you have a lot of young men who have been told that they're not useful that we don't need no man etc and when the shit hits the fan they're not going to be there for you they're not you, just like you're seeing now there's like all these videos about like that woman in new york on the train that was being abused by who who, who knows what the fuck that was on the train whether it was a trans person or just some random mentally ill individual and no one did nothing. You had that woman in Pennsylvania, in Philly, that was literally getting uh, sexually assaulted on the train. And nobody did nothing. The men didn't do anything. And when push comes to shove, these no one's going to be there to protect the government. No one's going to be there to protect, to protect the country. No one's going to be there to protect the women or the children. 
And it's all their it's all their it's all their own fault. It's all the people's undoing. And this will be the downfall of this nation, this once great nation that has been destroyed from within. Didn't take any bombs or any bullets from another country. There wasn't another army that the country had to worry about. It was their own degeneracy, just like what happened in Rome. Welcome to Rome 2.0.